Good morning, everyone. So this is live from today. So this video is going to be up today. Um, it is 8.14 in the morning right now. And I wanted to just hurry up and post this video because I'm wanting to post another video tomorrow. So I just realized that we just hit over 15,000 subscribers. And I just want to say thank you guys so much. You know, for all the new subscribers and everybody who's been here so far, just thank you. And we love you guys for being here and supporting you know, everything that we have going on. I want to do a question and answer, like I said I would once we pass 15,000 subscribers. And if you guys don't remember the way that I do my question and answer videos, I have you guys send me a Snapchat and I'll actually include you in the video. So if you have Snapchat, send me your question that way so you guys can be included. And if you don't have Snapchat, just leave your question in the comments and we'll answer them. So the rest of this video is what's been going on the past few days. Um, I'm not going to tell you guys, you guys can watch it, but it's a different kind of video. It's not really like a lot of music and stuff like that, it's just what we've been having going on. So if you watch it... Cool if you don't. And if you don't, then I don't know. Leave your questions and we will answer them. Thank you so much for 50,000 subscribers and we're gonna keep going and growing and it's exciting. This is Sammy's parents. <laughs> this is Bro. <laughs> Can you say bye? <laughs> Alright, where we're gonna go. Cool. See you later, Sammy. And thank you for the boxes, guys. Thank you. Bye. So that was Ashley and I met at Sammy's parents. And they just moved into their house and they got a bunch of extra boxes that we could use. We're gonna pack up all the stuff from the house. And um get things moving. Is this gonna fit in here? It fits. But before we go home and pack, yesterday we, had, we went to our new place and we had to tear down an entertainment system that they had and we found um, things that need to be fixed. So we're about to go to Home Depot and get those things and then we'll go home and pack. Today's a good day. You gotta stop doing that. Every job, every job. Wait, turn right. Oh! Oh, yeah. Why did you do that? I am a quiet. We had to tear down that entertainment system, and what we learned was that the people cut into the dang wall, so now we have to replace. People cut into the Wayne's coating. I have no idea what that is. And we have to get pieces to replace them because we want to bring the character back into the place. And the people just tore the wall up. You got you guys to see once we get there, but just tore it up. I'm not, I don't know what that is. I don't know. Yeah, those aren't like super crazy, weird, like uncommon. Okay, okay. Like, great. You will find them in the Twin Cities somewhere. somewhere. You, won't have, you won't have to special order any of them, okay. I'm sure of it. So is this going to turn to a scavenger hunt? It is a scavenger hunt. <laughs> he said somewhere in the Twin Cities will have them, so we just got to find them. All right, so now this is turned into some kind of a scavenger hunt for these pieces. I need to pack. Charlotte's going to go on a scavenger hunt. Before we do that, Charlotte's one breast sticks. From Target, and we need to get a broom because I made a little bit of a mess at the house the other day. Okay, it's been like a few hours. I came home and I watched this show that I'm like addicted to. <sighs> Remember a while ago when I was packing up to go somewhere and I told you guys how much I hate packing? I want to go to sleep. Two hours later. <sighs> I really do not like packing. But this is packing times 100 because we got to pack up a whole lot of stuff. Enough of me talking about it. It's time to get to work. <clears throat> yeah, I know. I don't need y'all to tell me. It's a mess. This is where all my stuff was at. The gender paper's over there somewhere. I hit it. It needs to get done. One eternity later. Okay, but... Can you get rid of that? These are my stress balls. Okay, 
What do you mean it looks inappropriate? It's because your mind is just dirty. Sheesh. But this is what Charlotte does. She goes through all of this stuff very, very slowly. And then we pack later on. Look at this. Look. How old is that? 2007, probably. Tell everybody how you feel about packing. I feel really great about packing. Why? Because I'm awesome at packing. I just gotta go through everything a couple of times. I'm the complete opposite. I'll just like throw stuff in the box and okay, let's unpack it and be done with it. I really want to go sweep, but Charlotte keeps killing my hopes and dreams about going there and sweeping. You can go and sweep if you want to sweep. Okay, we're gonna go sweep. So I gotta sweep all this stuff up so the painters can just come in and do their thing tomorrow. They started taping all the floors so they can start painting everything. And then we took this wood thing off. So yeah, now we're about to sweep this up and then we're gonna start fresh tomorrow. But this, look at the damage that they did though. When they put that thing there, they cut into the Wayne's coating is what it's called apparently. So now we gotta fix that at the bottom. We gotta fix that at the top. And we gotta fix this. I have no idea how they did that. It's all part of the process. We're gonna sweep and I'll see y'all tomorrow. So every day I get up at about six o'clock. I'm an early bird. I like to get my workout in in the morning. When I drive to go work out, one of the things that I enjoy the most is where I work out at. It's like probably like a 30 minute drive. This is my time where I can have my alone time with God. Like this is where I do a lot of my praying and where I listen to a lot of worship music. Dude, I'm telling you, there's nothing like worship music. Like I get this rush through my body when I listen to worship music. That and playing football, that's the only time I've ever felt the feeling that I get when I listen and sing worship music. I think it's always good to find time throughout the day to figure out when you can have your one-on-one -on -one time with God because you are busy, you know what I'm saying? We all have a lot that we do. But it's funny because we were in church, we were talking about workaholics and the thing that stuck out to me the most is the pastor said, if you want to be at work, but you have to be with your family, then you're living out of order. Even though you can love your work, but you just it just can't be to where you feel like you want to be at work, but you have to be with your family. It's just out of order. We have to live our lives according to, you know, the way God wants us to. So like my thing is faith, family, football, and film. So my faith and my relationship with God is number one. Number two is my family, my wife, to make sure Shaw's doing well with the baby and stuff. And my mom, my dad, my brothers and my sisters, my cousins, everybody is doing well. Football, you know what I'm doing now, I make sure that football is my priority, one of my main priorities, because it's what I do, it's what I love. And, you know, God blessed me with the ability to play football. And film, like film, I'm doing this. Uh, I really enjoy, you know, vlogging and making videos. But with this video, I'm like, man, I'm just gonna pick up the camera and just keep talking to it and make it more of like a vlog style like I was doing when I first started this. I don't, I'm not sure if there's gonna be a lot of music, a lot of cutting up and all kind of stuff like that in this video. Uh, so we'll just see where it goes and I'll just see if you guys like it or not. But I don't know, we'll see. But anyways, I gotta get to my worship music and I gotta get to this workout. I know you guys are probably tired of hearing me saying this, but it's so hard for me to film my workouts because I'm so in the zone and all I care about is working out and you know staying focused. So I probably won't record anything to be honest with you, so. I think you guys will just see me after the workout. It is a super, super like, foggy day today. Like two days ago, just broke out. It was like 70 degrees. All the Minnesotans are with their shirt off, shoes with no socks, outside running. I'm like, yo, summer is back, blah, blah, blah. The next day it rains. Minnesota, get it together. Please, for the sake of your people, get it together. But now I'm here, but the year didn't work out. All right, trap. All right, y'all. Lighter. <laughs> Whew. Another great workout at ETS Elite. Oh, no, real though. Get your work in here, boy. Whew. 
They get everything out of you. But that's how I like it. Now that I got that good work in, now it's time to eat breakfast. But now I gotta eat the most disgusting thing. Oh, I cannot stand eating this stuff. But as an athlete, you don't eat for taste. And I'm pretty sure you guys are gonna be upset with me because I'm pretty sure a lot of people love this stuff. But I don't. I'm not talking about Quaker oatmeal. I eat steel cut oatmeal. Oh my God. This, 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 this. 